Endotracheal tube insertion. Equipment required for this procedure include laryngoscope with appropriate size blade, endotracheal tube of appropriate size, lubricating jelly, syringe 10 milliliter to inflate the cuff, self-inflating bag with appropriate mask, oxygen supply, induction, pretreatment, and paralytic agents. Steps Pre-oxygenation this step helps maintain oxygen reservoir within lungs, blood, and body tissue. Oxygen is administered with exchanges with nitrogen in the functional residual capacity of the lungs, a process known as nitrogen washout. Pre-oxygenation can be performed in many ways, using non-rebreather masks that deliver 65 to 70 percent in cases where difficult intubation is not anticipated well-fitting bag valve masks that deliver greater than 90 percent oxygen, non-invasive positive pressure ventilation that delivers 100 percent oxygen in high-risk patients with moderate to severe shunt physiology. Administer high flow oxygen for three to five minutes. Induction and paralysis. When indicated, induce anesthesia and give muscle relaxant. Patient positioning. Place the patient supine. When no cervical spine injury is suspected, position the patient in the sniff position with neck flexion and extended head. Placing a small pillow or pad of about four centimeters under the occiput has been shown to help in obtaining a better laryngoscopic view. In the neutral position, the oral pharyngeal and laryngeal axis are not aligned to permit adequate visualization of the glottic opening. The sniff position helps to align the oral, pharyngeal, and laryngeal axis and facilitates better visualization of the glottic opening. Direct laryngoscopy. The operator should wear gloves, gown, and goggles. Stand at the supine patient's head end. Open the patient's mouth and remove foreign material, if any, manually or by suction. Separate lips and pull the upper jaw to open the patient's mouth. Hold a laryngoscope in the left hand and introduce the blade of the laryngoscope carefully into the right side of the mouth, avoiding contact with the teeth and lips. Advance the laryngoscope towards the right tonsillar pillar. Once the right tonsillar fossa is visualized, remove the blade to the midline, sweeping the tongue left. When using a curved bladed laryngoscope, gently advance the tip of the laryngoscope blade into the vallecula between the base of the tongue and the epiglottis. When using a straight bladed laryngoscope, advance till it is behind the epiglottis. Do not use the laryngoscope as a lever, but lift it away from you. Lift the tongue, soft tissues, and jaw forward. View the vocal cords and laryngeal inlet. Endotracheal tube insertion. Hold the endotracheal tube in the right hand, keeping its concavity toward the right side. Insert the tube through the oral opening. Advance the ET tube toward the vocal cords, maintaining visualization of the cords. Advance it until you watch the ET tube pass through the cords. The tube should be advanced so that the cuff is just past the cords and the black mark is between the vocal cords. This depth is reached on approximately at the 20 to 22 centimeter mark on the endotracheal tube. The laryngoscope is gently withdrawn, taking care not to injure the lips and teeth. Inflate the cuff with 5 to 10 milliliters of air using a syringe. Ensure correct positioning. Attach the bag valve ventilator to the ET tube. Observe the chest rise on inflation. Listen over both lung fields. Listen to trachea for air leaks. Listen over the epigastrium. Check the oxygen saturation. Consider requesting a CXR to confirm that the tip of the ET tube is two centimeters above the carina. If there is any doubt about the position of the tube, then remove it and oxygenate the patient. Ventilate the patient. Attach the tube to the breathing circuit. 
ventilate the patient at a rate of 10 to 12 breaths per minute. Securing the tube. Secure the ETT using adhesive tape. Other ways to fix include use of twill tapes or tube fastener devices. Remove the gloves and discard them. Perform hand hygiene and document the procedure.